Hey, what's up guys? This is Chris. How's everybody doing tonight? Hopefully very well. It is uh, 1131 here on a Friday night and I've got another build review for you guys. So we're going to take a look at one of the most top trending builds right now. It is the Durex build. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to download it and install it here in just a second after we do the review. So stay tuned for that. Uh, before we begin, uh, thank you guys for watching and I appreciate all the support that you've given me. Thank you all for the comments, uh, the likes, the shares, all that good stuff. If this is your first time happening across the channel, uh, welcome and hopefully you will subscribe. Uh, if you want to subscribe, please click on the link below and do that for me and also click on the bell that way you guys will be notified of any new videos that I come out with. And you ask, why should you subscribe? Uh, we do a lot of great things here in this channel. Uh, it continues to grow. Uh, it has grown in a fast pace, thanks to all of you guys that are subscribing once again. Um, but we do build reviews, a lot of build reviews like this. Uh, I also do stream device reviews. I'm getting ready to do one tomorrow on the Tanix. <clears throat> so we're going to check that out. And I also do contest giveaways. Normally when I do the uh, reviews on the streaming devices, I will turn around and give those away free. Yes, free. You heard free. And I pay for shipping and handling and all that good stuff as well. <clears throat> so excuse me for my voice sounding a little rough tonight, guys. I do apologize. Hopefully we can get through this video without any coughing or hacking. <laughs> um, but uh, it seems like this time of year I always end up getting something crazy uh, you know, with my sinuses going on. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, we've got the Durex build up. If you guys have not seen this build, it is an amazing build. It's got just about everything. <clears throat> it's going to run at about 400 megabyte or about 410, uh, 410 megabytes. So if you guys are Fire Stick users, you might find this build a little uh, tougher to run on your device. Uh, but I always recommend checking it out, trying it. Uh, if it doesn't work, um, you're going to see how to uh, actually do a fresh start uh, when we actually show you guys how to download the build. So we'll show you all that here in just a second. But as you can see, going through the menus there, we've got movies, <clears throat> we've got TV shows, we've got kids, your paid section. If you have any IPTV or anything that's paid, uh, you can actually log into your accounts here. You also have free TV, which is provided by the developer. You also have sports, miscellaneous. You've got music, system, your add-ons, and then we're back to movies. <clears throat> From here, you can actually scroll down, and you have like a first row of submenus. You can search metallics here. Uh, you have Super Favorites, Mucky Duck, Dandy Media, Spins, Solus, and Video Files. So you can go to any of these if you want. And there's your Dandy Media Repository. You've got your Mucky Duck Repository. As you can see, and you also have your super favorite so if you ever uh, save anything into your super favorite file it's going to go right there and you have all these other choices now if you scroll one more time down <clears throat> you've got a great list of add-ons you've got spin flicks bob unleashed covenant elysium death streams if you guys are wondering what death streams is that is the old salts <clears throat> so it is actually uh, been changed to death streams now uh, we've got Poseidon, we've got Stream Hub. So you've got a lot of good choices here. Your Covenant and Elysium are really good. Uh, we can go into Death Streams and show you that real quick. Uh, when you go in there, it breaks it down into movies, TV shows, or settings. <clears throat> so you can go into movies. And then you have trending movies, popular movies, or anticipated movies. You can also do a search uh, for any movie that you want got genres, <clears throat> movie most, and so on and so forth. So let's go into popular movies. Okay, as you can see, you've got some of the top trending popular movies 
<clears throat> listed by you guys. And you can also go into anticipated movies and you're going to see movies uh, that have not been released probably yet, <clears throat> but are getting ready to come out in the very near future, like Star Wars, The Last Jedi, Avengers. <clears throat> but uh, these you're not going to actually be able to watch. Um, so I'm not sure why we actually put that in there, but uh, it kind of gives you an idea of some of the new movies that are coming out. All right, so that's pretty much that. And you also have a lot of other great add-ons too. Poseidon has been popular here of late. StreamHub is always popular and spins flicks. All right, if you scroll back up, you have your widgets. So if you guys are a big widget fan, there you go. And that's some quick links to some of your top trending movies right now. And you can also click on movies. And it's going to bring up your Lysium menu right here. All right, moving on, we got TV shows. Once again, you scroll down, you're going to have the same information here. Scroll up, and you have your widgets for the top trending TV shows out right now. Scroll down twice, and once again, you have your add ons that you can pull up. So let's go into StreamHub this time. And you have movies, TV shows. So let's go to TV shows. And we'll look at actor search. So let's do actor search. And let's just type in Tim. And then we'll go done. Now this is just a general search, but you have all of actors that have the name Tim in there. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, and you can actually go into them and it will bring up their movies as well. All right. And you also have networks. You can go into networks and let's say there's a TV show on A&E that you want. All I have to do is click on that. And I'm a big First 48 fan. We can go into First 48. And they're on season 17 right now. So if you go into that, there's only been two episodes so far. And there you go. It's the most current episodes up to date. So if you're new to this whole streaming device um, type of thing, basically you're getting a lot of bang for your buck. And whether you use a Fire Stick or whether you go with the most expensive streaming device box there is, um, you're really, really going to save your money in the long run because a lot of the stuff that you have on here, you don't really even need TV at all. And some of the devices are carrying um, a lot more live TV packages. That is pretty, pretty awesome. <clears throat> but as you can see, StreamHub has a lot of different choices as well. All right, so moving on, we've got Kids section. So I think this is pretty cool. You have your Disney section here. You also have DreamWorks, which is really cool. And we'll give it a second. There you go, guys. Uh, anything that DreamWorks has been involved in <clears throat> movie wise for kids it's all right there which is pretty awesome you can select kids as well
Okay, it's going to bring up your Lyceum Kids Movies. Now, if you don't like this layout, <clears throat> kind of this post board layout, all you have to do is click to the left. It brings up your menu bar, and from here you can select full wall, low list, poster wrap. So let's say we want uh, <clears throat> low list. All you have to do is scroll to the right, and there you go. It gives you the synopsis to the right, and it gives you the uh, Blu-ray DVD cover to the left, which I think is pretty cool. And it also gives you a full um, fan art screen in the background, which is actually really, really awesome. So yeah, it's pretty cool, guys. Uh, you also have Lego. Let's go into Lego. There you go, guys. And a bunch of the Lego movies there. So you definitely are not lacking for subjects for your kids there. And you also have all these others as well. <clears throat> if you scroll down, you've got Blinky TV, Bobby's Cartoons, Spins Cartoon Crazy, Bob's Kids, Super Cartoons, Too Mania, and Watch Cartoons, which is really cool. Scroll up and you have your widgets. Okay, next on is paid. I'm not going to go into any of these, but you've got your limitless IPTV, iView TV Guide, uh, M TV Guide, Over the Top TV. And you've got a lot of your paid IPTVs services. So if you go into any of these and you have services, <clears throat> this is the way to log on and bam, it's all part of your build. All right, and if you scroll down, you've got your login there got channels so let's go into channels and once again if you don't have uh, you know paid services you're not gonna be able to do this but just kind of wanted to let you know you've got other options there as well now your free TV this is um, the free live TV uh, you can go into your sub menus here on the top you've got sports top 10 English there's news, documentaries, entertainment, family, and so on and so forth. Some great stuff there. You also have your Mobdina, which is one of the most popular add-ons as of right now. You've got Made in Canada. You've got your free TV channels there. And if we go into Mobdina, you can go into channels. And there you go, guys. Let's just check it out, and we'll go into one of these and see how well this is actually loading. Alright, so you guys know how I feel about live TV. <laughs> uh, my recommendation to you is to actually <clears throat> actually get involved in um, a live paid TV service like Vader Streams or something like that. And then you can bring it into the application here uh, and it's going to work so much better. Um, if you guys have not seen Vader Streams, definitely check it out. Um, I will probably end up getting service through them. Um, you can get, like, I think it's like $164 for the whole year. And, you know, if you think about it, you're paying that one month for, like, some of these TV service providers. All right, so you have other options, though. You have Goodfellas as well. So let's check out uh, Goodfellas here and see if it pulls up live TV. Oh, me, I know we 
just kind of have to some of these channels that may be available some of them may not um, just kind of have to play around with them though as you can see <clears throat> i finally did get one to work and it was good quality as well but you also have super favorites news 12 free ultra ip tv secret tv vip and so on and so forth there too all right so moving on we got your sports section here you have your NBA games, NHL games, NFL games, and they've broken it down for you via the sports. Uh, you also have Planet MMA, Pro Sports, Project D, Sports Devil. So you got all of your popular sports add-ons there. And then you also have in your submenu Deliverance the Loop, Rising Tides as well. All right, moving on, we've got Miscellaneous. Here, once again, your super favorites, 24-7, Project M, Falcon Sports, Wolfpack, Not Sure, Nemesis, Quantum, Stream Army, and for those of you guys that are interested in adult content, there you go. There's your adult content section. You also have Triton, Bob Unleashed, Goodfellas, Supremacy, Pyramid, all of your popular one, all-in-ones, which is really nice. <clears throat> I love the music section on this um, because I'm a big MP3 streams fan. <clears throat> but not only do you have MP3 streams, as you can see, you also have Jukebox Hero, Django, FTG Karaoke. And a lot of other great ones. You've got YouTube, Tunelin, uh, Radio, Music Source. There's Now Music USA, Now Music, and we're back to your MP3 stream. So this is just a great device and great build for uh, music. You can turn your you know, system into a uh, jukebox if you want for parties. Um, there's all kinds of great, great ideas that you can do for um, you know the streaming music services, which is really awesome. All right, so we've got System. Now, if you want to go in and you want to add a source, uh, like I showed you the last time, uh, you just go into File Manager. And then once you've selected your source and added it, then you go into Add-on Browser. And simple as that, install from zip and install from repositories right there. You also can go to Skin Settings, and this tells you that it's been updated. Now, if you want to go into System, Okay, and we go down to system again. We go down to audio. And we're going to scroll down until we see the GUI sounds again. We're going to click on that. And then we're going to go up and hit none. And bam, as you can see, there is no longer any sound. So I know it's, it gets annoying when you are so you're hearing me click through everything. Now, if you had a service uh, for weather, you could go into here and you could change your weather settings, but this build does not provide any weather format. Uh, you've got your interface. You can go in there. You can switch the skins if you want to Stashi or estuary, uh, but we're going to go ahead and keep it as Durex Confluence. So if you guys are interested in the type of skin that it is, there you go. And there's all kinds of other things you can do. You can go into skin and you can go down to stereoscopic, stereoscopic 3D effect strength. You can also zoom your um, build in or out depending on your TV. So there's some information there. You've got your screen savers here that you can change. Here you can go in, this is your home menu items. <coughs> so you can actually go in and you can change any of this information if you need be. 
which is really cool. Here's your submenu items. So you can go in and change these up if you want. Here's your add-ons. So once again, you can go in and change these. And all you'd have to do is go into video add-ons. And then you could change any of these on here. So if you wanted not sure, you could click on that and it would add not sure there for your main menu item there, which is really awesome. <clears throat> you also have total cleanup, clear cache, clear packages, thumbnails, you've got your wizard, you can update your build here, and you can force quit as well. All right here in this one system menu item. All right, so now we've got add-ons. You can scroll up and you can kind of see some of the add-ons involved there. Uh, you can click on add-ons if you'd like, and there you go. You can go into my add-ons, and if you want to see what video add-ons is on, uh, you can go and click on that, and you got a, all the list of your add-ons. So this is also a quick link to uh, say that, um, you want to go into one of the adult sections. You click on my add-ons, you go into video add-ons, just click which one you want, and then just open it there. All right, so very easy, and you can do that for any of them. Go into it, click open. Sports Dev will go into it, and you can open. So very easy, if you want to, um, take out any of these, say you want to take out uh, the adult section, you could click on it and then uninstall it and that way it will be gone. You can go into subtitles and you can go into subscene.com and there's over, over 50 languages that you can use for, uh, for your um, um, subtitles is really cool sorry I went blank there for a second guys but this build gives you so much it gives you a lot of different choices a lot of different things uh, you can also access your video add-ons from here and this is the one thing that I really love you can go into echo wizard down here now we know Aries wizard is down right now but you can go into echo wizard and you can go into Cody apps add-on chart. Okay, and check this out. <clears throat> you should have all of these, but if you don't, all you have to do is click Titan or any of these other ones, and then you can add Titan source to the file manager. So you can actually have a whole list of add-ons there if you don't have those, and you can add them without going out and having to do the file manager, all that stuff. It's all right there, which is really, really nice. And then we're back to movies, guys. So let's go ahead and show you guys how to download it. Now, I want to show you the easiest way. Um, first of all, you just go out of this, back to your main menu. The easiest way to do a fresh start is to go to Settings. Then we're going to go down to Apps. We're going to go into Cody. We're going to go ahead and hit four stop. And then we're going to do clear data and clear cache. Okay, now my NVIDIA Shield says computing. Uh, I know the Fire Stick, you just have to kind of keep hitting it over and over again, clear data, clear cache, until it comes up a zero number or a low number. Uh, but the NVIDIA Shield, it'll say computing, computing, and then when it has actually done its thing, uh, then it goes back to zero like it just did there. All right, so now let's go ahead and show you guys how to actually download and install the Durex build. So we're gonna go back into Kodi, as you can see, just by doing that clearing data and clear cache, it is a fresh start Cody now. Simple as that. 
didn't take but two seconds to do. Alright guys, so for me here, the main menu, we want to go to the gear. We're going to scroll down to system settings. We're going to go into audio. Go down to GUI sounds. Go ahead and click enter. And then click none. That way we don't have to worry about the clicking noises. From here, you're going to go down to add-ons. Click to the right. We're going to go down to unknown sources. Click enter. That's going to bring up your warning box, and that's okay. It's just giving you a standard warning, uh, just letting you know that if you're downloading stuff, uh, it could cause um, some viruses or anything like that. Now, I've never had an issue with this at all, so uh, it's just your standard warning, like I said. So from here, you just want to hit yes. We're going to go ahead and backspace. And then we're going to go down to file manager, click enter. And then we're going to scroll down to add source and then hit enter. And from here, you're going to type in this URL just like I have it. www.drxdld.com forward slash whiz. Okay. So once you feel confident that that is correct, you just hit OK. And just for time purposes, you can change this. All you have to do is go and delete. And you can do Durex or whatever you want. And then just hit OK. And as you can see, we didn't have any errors or anything like that. So that meant the URL was pretty much correct. And then we've got the name there. So once you've gotten that, you just hit Backspace twice. That's going to take you back to the main menu, guys. So from here, we just want to go into Add-ons. And we're going to go up to that little install box again. Go ahead and click Enter. And we're going to go down to Install from Zip File. Go ahead and click Enter. And then down one to Durex. Go ahead and click Enter. Now here you have two options. You have Repo and Wizard. All right, so we're going to go in with one that says Wizard on there. You go up to my add-ons and click to the left you'll see currently downloading add-ons now when the add-on installed box pops up in the upper corner there on the right hand side um, you're going to see this currently downloading add-ons go away which i think is amazing um, because that way if you want to get up and do something stretch your legs whatever uh, and you just happen to miss that add-on installed icon that pops up you'll know that you have successfully downloaded because that currently downloading add-ons will be completely gone. It won't even show. So it's just kind of like a, like a warning, I guess you could say at the first. All right, so as you can see, the Durex, Durex Wizard add-on installed. <coughs> and the public repo is res, uh, resolved there. So from here, you can hit uh, dismiss or remind me later. You can just go ahead and do that. Now, just to let you know, I don't, on these, honestly, I never use these. So, I just use these last three. That way, when you start up the build, you it automatically clear cache, clear your packages, and clear your thumbnails, and make the system run a lot smoother. Alright, so once you've got those three, go ahead and click Enter. And then it's going to give us the Durex wizard where we're going to select ignore or build menu. Which one do you think we're going to select? <laughs> so we go into build menu. And then we're going to go down to, you've got two server settings. Now, if you have a Jarvis, uh, basically um, you can go in here and download this one, Cody Jarvis. Um, but we're going to go ahead and download one of these that's 17.6. Just do the first one there. And then from here, we're going to go down until we see standard install. And go ahead and click enter. And then we're going to go ahead and click yes, install. As you can see, it's uh, my apologies. I was thinking it was um, actually 410, but it's 470. 
Now, if you notice to the left there, I can't move the Durex Wizard box there where it's showing it's downloading. But if you'll notice, it says super fast build, especially for fire sticks or fire sticks or fire whatever, and loaded with top add ons. So they're recommending that you should be able to work uh, your fire stick with this particular build. All right, I'm just gonna let it do its thing. I'm gonna get quiet a little bit. All right, so once again, if you have any comments or if you uh, have something that you want to see or want me to do a video on, all you got to do is either email me at my email address below or you can leave a general comment. Either one will be fine with me, uh, and I will try to get back with you guys as soon as I can. I get a lot of emails. I get a lot of comments, uh, and I try to honestly take care of all of them and answer as many as I can. Uh, sometimes it gets a little difficult, and I wish I had an assistant, um, <laughs> but um, don't um, don't get that. This is all about me and working, you know, by myself. So, you know, it does get a little bit difficult to answer each and every one of you guys. Now, if you guys ask a question, and if there's anybody out there that feels like they know the answer, feel free to go ahead and answer the questions. I'm not at all against that, and I encourage it. Because we are one big happy Cody family. So we want to keep it that way. Once again, if this is your first time actually watching the video, click on the link below. And I promise my voice does not sound like this at all. Um, but that's what the price you pay for cold weather and a cold is. So anyway, for you guys that are new, go ahead and click on that link below and hit subscribe for me. And then also to click on the bell. That way you guys will be notified of any new videos that I come out with. All right. As you can see, we're getting down close to the actual download phase. And then we've just moved into the extraction of the files. Kind of excited about some of the near future things that we're going to be doing. Uh, I just purchased a, um, a Zoom H9, uh, excuse me, H5, and um, it's a portable kind of mini recorder, but I can also use it for uh, these videos. And so the volume level and everything else is going to change drastically. I want to make sure that you guys are getting the best of the best. I want you all to be able to hear me understand me what I'm saying uh, because you know I value you guys that much so I went out and purchased the zoom h5 uh, and I'm going to add probably another condenser mic to that and we'll see what the sound like sound sounds like at that point okay all right we're getting down to the end here as soon as we get done with this I have a few more things that I want to go over with you and then we will call it a night. <clears throat> Hope everybody had a good day today. Mine was busy. I'm in uh, the retail business and um, we actually dealt with uh, Black Friday sales, <clears throat> so that got a little crowded. Um, phones were ringing off the hook today, but overall, not a bad day, very good day. And how was everybody's Thanksgiving? I didn't get to talk to you guys on Thanksgiving, um, but uh, just let me know if you guys' Thanksgiving was good or not. 
All right, so we are officially done there. It gives you the option of force closing. Go ahead and do that. And that is it. All you have to do is go back into your Cody and just make sure the build uh, does its thing. Give it enough time because I know the first couple times that I downloaded it, um, I noticed that it would freeze up on me and I have to go back out, delete the data, or I mean the cache. And then finally it would come up. But just make sure it does its thing, guys. <clears throat> All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. Again, I apologize for my voice being so raspy and awful sounding. Uh, but I really appreciate you watching. And stay tuned for the next video. Um, definitely want you guys to watch that. Um, we're probably going to do the uh, streaming device review on it. So make sure you let everybody know uh, if you're looking for an alternative source to the Fire Stick and want something a little better. Um, I'm actually going to show you another device that would be better than the Fire Stick. So thank you again for watching and you guys have an awesome night and I will probably see you guys on the video tomorrow. Thank you all.